What's up everybody, Ryan here. Got an old American Standard here. Apparently he's had some issues, the gas was shut off. They turned the gas back on. Some sort of issue with the gas valve apparently. Uh, the gas pressure can't be adjusted. I know sometimes the adjustment caps get stripped out. So we've got some parts here. Got a high limit, got an adapter for the new gas valve. Apparently there must be some issues with the length. A rollout, a flame sensor, an igniter. Should be an easy morning job here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up and we'll take a peek and we'll switch the gas valve, switch out the components and uh, adjust the gas pressure. So that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm at. Let's get into it. It looks rusty, it looks crusty. Hopefully I can get this gas line out of here. It runs right through. So what I'm gonna do is break apart that union there, spin this completely out, and then I should be able to pull everything out. Got multiple parts here. This is all gonna get thrown away. So, let me get into it. Nasty. Nasty. Should have it loose enough. I don't have to pull it completely out of the unit. Just enough that I can get that manifold. Come on. Alright. There we go. Alright. So I backed it up here. That way I wasn't wrenching on everything and screwing up the way this thing mounts. So it looks like I've got four 5 16 screws. This whole manifold is going to come right out. Single stage gas valve. It's just open or closed on that gas valve. So let's pull this out. So I got the manifold out. Perfect. Shouldn't take too long. Swap this valve out. We'll be good to go. I'm curious to see what this uh, adapter is for the gas valve. It says here, adapter kit for use when replacing WR36E and 36F series. Uh, valves with a 36G Gemini. I got a 36G. I bet you I'm not even gonna need the adapter. I'm not gonna need the adapter. It's the same exact length, same valve.
I'm gonna get this all doped up, get the new valve in place. We'll move on, get this limit flame sensor igniter and rollout replaced real quick. Uh, set the gas pressure on this, cycle it. Should be moving on to the next repair today. It's repair day. Gas flow this way. Um, you don't wanna mix that up. These have a specific way the gas is supposed to flow through them. So uh, if you didn't know, pay attention when you're taking your old valve out but you always want your gas obviously flowing into the manifold out the orifices get ignited and then pulled through the ex uh, heat exchanger That's it, we're good to go. Our gas flow is traveling the right direction. So I've got it straight as I can get it. I might need to tweak this one, tighten it just a little bit more, the nipple with the 90s, but I'm gonna wait till I get it in place. That way I can make sure that my gas line, because we don't have a lot of tolerance here with it wiggling around. So I stopped it just before it got completely tight. That way, if I need to adjust it a little bit while I've got it in place, we can. But while we've got it all opened up like this, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the uh, high limit here. limits replaced uh, flame sensor and igniter are gonna be next Flame sensor, igniter, high limit, have both been replaced. Go ahead and uh, pull the wires off this rollout. We'll swap it out real quick and uh, get this manifold back in place. Now you want to be real careful when you're tightening the screw up on this. These are ceramic. They'll break real quick. So while we've got this out, I'm gonna go ahead and get my manifold back in. And then we'll put the top plate on, dope that up, tighten it up. I'm gonna get some zip ties in here. We're gonna button these wires up, make them look a little better. And as you can all probably see, I put the pipe nipple in and I had it facing up when it should be facing down, but that's okay, because we still have to tighten it. So I'm gonna get some pipe wrenches on here. We're gonna send this thing all the way home and we're gonna line it up with our incoming gas line. Should be pretty close here. Might have to wiggle it a little bit, but I'm gonna get some dope on that. We'll get this pipe back in.
right, our gas line is all back together. Our new gas valve is in place. Next thing I'm gonna do is turn the gas on, throw a little bit of soap bubbles on this, make sure we don't have any leaks, wire it back up, get that top plate put in place. All right, guys, I got two forms of leak detection here. I got this little top test a gas leak detector and then I've got of course Big Blue the micro leak detector uh, solution so we'll run this over it real quick just to make sure it doesn't go off uh, this thing does work I've got another video on it I'll put a link to it right here a top test they sent me this and I don't use it a ton but I figured I've got it so let's use it I'm not picking anything up. I don't think I'm gonna. We'll spray a little bit of the big blue on there um, while we're reassembling things. I don't anticipate having a leak anywhere though. We are good. I've got no bubbles anywhere. Uh, I started wiring up the gas valve and things. It, I don't smell any gas. I don't see any bubbles. So we're good to go on that. I'm going to button everything up and get my manometer hooked up. Got the uh, UEI dual port EM201. I've had this thing a long time and I love it. Good manometer. All right, guys, as you can see, let me zero this out. I've got all the wires pinned up nice, zip tied together. Everything's secure. Nothing's going to be in the way of anything else. So we're good to go there got my manometer hooked up Let me find my screwdriver here flathead um, I've got connected here on the manifold gas pressure port and then we're gonna go ahead and remove this little cap and I don't want to mar it up or strip it out so you gotta have a nice clean screwdriver a good screwdriver a nice flat tip on it that way you don't mess it up oh geez or lose it and as you can see it looks good and when we put this back in we're just gonna snug it up we're not gonna over tighten it and we're not gonna kill it um, because then you're gonna have a problem if anybody ever has to a check or adjust gas pressure ever again they're gonna have a hard time getting it off and while we're here let's go ahead and confirm that our gas pressure it should be 3.5 right there it is manifold pressure inches water column 3.5 so that's what we're looking for here i'm going to power it up and see if this thing's going to call so they've got space heaters down in the store so it may just be satisfied the thermostat due to the space heaters being there but we will check so i'm going to go ahead and power it up our manometer is zeroed out off obviously if you can read off that means it's off if you can read on it's on so the way these work is the, that's off the connections are just flip-flopped so let's go ahead and power this thing up all right i have to get my meter out and see what we've got oh we do have power i've got a green led so i'm just gonna jump it out All right, I hear the board clicking. Combustion blower's running. Do they get a pressure switch on us? They do. I see pressure switch tubing. It's tucked up there. So we'll wait a minute and see if it ignites. There we go. And we are overfired on the brand new gas valve. We're at 4.0. So it's very important to always check your gas pressure, guys. You don't want to be overfired, and then just back this screw out. Yep, come on. There we go. There we go. 3.48. It's close. I like. I'd rather be a little bit under than over. Then I always put the cap on because it will, it will move your gas pressure slightly once the cover cap is put on. So go ahead and just screw it down. 
and then just snug it up boom that's all you need it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be wrenched down so tight it's not sealing anything off you're good just snug it up that way the next guy can get the cap off we're at 3.44 I mean that's so close to 3.5 I'm I'm happy with that all right so she's running I'm gonna open up this blower compartment make sure the blower's working operating properly all right guys filters are clean she's definitely moving some air so I'm just gonna button it up this thing's been looked at uh, before and uh, the, what we did today was determined to be the problem so I think we're in good shape I love it flame looks good nothing's rolling out Everything looks nice and stable. Heat exchanger is in good shape. I couldn't resist. I know it's been checked, but I have to check. I have to feel better about it after I'm done and I'm leaving. So the heat exchanger is in good shape. This sucker's running. Everything looks good to me. All right, guys, it's going to do it for this one. Please check out the Misfits of HVAC podcast every Saturday night on YouTube. I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Leave me a comment. Hit like. Like I said, I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one.